we need to check his fitness and assess where he is because he hasn't he's just come off COVID and he hasn't played much cricket he's obviously a big player for us he balances the team um, but we need to see how he is tomorrow I think he hasn't batted he hasn't bowled for the last two three weeks so definitely just come into a test match straight off so we we'll first have a look and see how he is tomorrow because it's five days of cricket and it's hot and there's all sorts of things to consider so we'll assess how he is tomorrow No, I don't think so. Uh, like I think um, Jamie has said previously, um, there was some really good stuff in South Africa. Um, obviously, the last two innings is not very good, but conditions were really tough for the guys to bat in. We found every time we were batting, we were batting the uh, last couple of overs of the day or when light wasn't good. And South Africa had a fantastic uh, spin attack. They bowled really well in conditions that helped them. So I don't think that'll have much bearing on this series. It's nearly a month ago now, so time, time, we've moved on. We need to look at the wicket. We need to look at the conditions uh, the day before. Um, Obviously, the selectors will, will, will all sit down in the next day or so and, and come up with what's, what's best, but it is a possibility. Um, need to, but we first need to see what the conditions are like. We know the wicket might offer something for the first hour or two, but then becomes really hard work for fast bowling, so we need to take all those factors into consideration. Look, definitely, um, I just said to the bowlers this morning that in, in, in um, three test matches, I think we got 30, in two test matches in South Africa, got, 30, got 36 wickets, um, bowled South Africa out twice, uh, first innings, second innings in Durban, bowled them out in Port Elizabeth, and I think got six wickets in the second innings, um, and I don't think Bangladesh has done that before, where they've got that many wickets, so, um, yeah, we're confident we can get 20 wickets. Um, we, we do need to have five bowling options, that's, that's obvious. Um, we've been short in that particular department when Shakib doesn't play. Having someone who can bowl those 12, 13 overs a, a day, uh, which is so important. Um, because with four bowlers it is very difficult, um, particularly on wickets that aren't going to help you. Look, I think with, with the way Test cricket's moved on, um, two years ago there's no way we would have played under those conditions with the light uh, being that dark. But with Test cricket wanting to play as much as you possibly can, with, which, which you understand, we've got to be willing to face that. And you can't be, I think sometimes you're playing because you're thinking you're going to come off the next over or come off the next over and then you stop playing, you've got, to, you've got to expect to play for the entire day because of lights coming on um, and umpires keeping out there for as long as possible. So that's, that's a big change in mindset. You've got to con you can't just be playing to get to the end of the over and get to the end of bad light. You've got to play as if you're playing till close of play. And I think that's a mental shift you need to make. I don't think it's anything technically or tactically. It's just a, a mindset that's got to change. Um, and you've got to continue to look to score. You can't just be blocking out those last. You're thinking it's three overs, but it might be 16 overs. Um, because as soon as that happens, you find yourself in a pressure. And maybe we did a bit of that, particularly in the first test match in Durban, um, when Shanta was batting with, um, with Joy. We, we sort of just stopped playing, and then Mominal stopped playing, and then we lost a few wickets. We're going to play in dark conditions because there are lights at stadiums and, and the... The, the laws of the game are changing to try and make sure you play as much as you can. Do you, uh, do you think that this Absolutely. Um, and I've, I've said previously that we've, in the last six or seven test series, as we think back, 
um, against Pakistan. We were 200 ahead, six down, then we lost wickets against the West Indies. We probably should have won that test match. They chased down 395. We beat New Zealand in the first test match. We played four really good days of cricket against the FK in the first test match. The challenge is to sustain that in the second test match. So I definitely think we've got the ability to, to beat any side if we play really well for the full five days, not for four days. Um, and that's the shift we've got to try and make. No, no, no areas of concern. Um, it's all about sticking to your game plan. Um, I think the important thing is trying to get singles and get off strike. Maybe we're just blocking and looking for the four ball a bit much, and we need to make sure that we try and rotate strike a little bit better and get off strike a little bit easier. Um, where that means using a paddle, where that means using your feet, where that means going deep in your crease is different for every single player. But I think the important thing is to try and get off strike and, and find ways of getting singles. But this guy, Look, it's, it's a, 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 I, th I think um, because the wickets don't bounce as much in Bangladesh, um, I think they, they don't struggle with left arm spin, they maybe struggle with a bit of extra bounce that spinners away from Bangladesh get because generally the wickets stay down in Bangladesh, they LBW bowls, whereas in foreign conditions the ball spins and you maybe get bat pads and you get caught at slip. And that's the difference, it's just staying a bit more on top of the bounce than they used to. No, definitely it's a, when we have a bad session, we have a really bad session. If we have a bad session, we lose six or seven wickets. And it's something we're speaking about and something we're trying to address, trying to stay calm in the change room, trying to make sure the batsman stop it, stop the, the rot if something does go bad. Um, and it's definitely something we speak about all the time. Um, look, it's, it's part of cricket, but we have to make sure that we stop. If you lose one or two wickets, we can't lose five. And that's the, that's the challenge, is to make sure that we stop the rot when it does set in. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very tricky. It's, um, it's <clears throat> Test match cricket is hard, and to not have played for a while and not have practiced for a while, to just come straight in after. I've had COVID and I know I've had it badly, and your energy is not quite the same. And it's not a T20 or 50 over that's done in six hours, it's something that's going to happen for five days. So these are things we need to take into account and we need, of course we want him to play. He's one of the best cricketers that's ever played. Um, but we need to make sure that he gives himself the best chance to perform and he's able to fulfill the role that we need him to fulfill. Um, and that is to bowl at least 15 overs a day, um, batting the top six or seven and, and be able to bat for three or four hours. Um, and that's important because physically coming back from COVID, I've been there, not easy straight away and these are things you need to assess. Excuse me? So you want a full fit Shakib in your first eleven? End of the day, anybody wants a full fit Shakib in your first eleven. Very difficult to pick a player if he's 50 or 60% fit. You've got to be fully fit to give the player the best chance to perform as well. No, I don't think it's... I suppose if you say opening batsman getting out cover driving, you've got to stop cover driving or um, playing through mid-wicket getting out LBW. If it's a shot that you're confident in and believe in and you know it's a good option, there's nothing wrong with playing it. I think the timing of playing the shots, the important thing is when you play the shot um, and why you're playing the shot. If it's to manipulate the field, he's a fantastic reverse sweeper. He's got him a lot of runs in the past. That's a shot he's really confident in. It's just the timing of when he's going to play the shot that's the important thing. Like a cover drive, 
it's a beautiful shot to play, but if you're left hand batter and you cover driving in the first 20, 30 balls you face, you're going to be under pressure. If you cover driving once you've got to 50 or 60, then it's okay. So it's just when you play the shot. The last two questions. Coach, normally she has only picked favors with the batsman. Is it a great chance for your batters to get back their confidence? We hope so. Um, it looks a good wicket. There's a little bit of grass and a little bit green at the moment, um, but it looks a good wicket. Um, well, playing in the one-day series against Afghanistan, you could see the first hour, hour and a half, the ball did something, but then got really good for batting on. Um, and look, the, the guys have batted well here in the past. Um, so guys will come in here confident knowing that they can get big scores in Chittagong because it's, it's probably the best we get in Bangladesh to bat on. No, I, th I think we need to consider someone that can bowl, and it's a big challenge for us because you think of, of, of the, the players that have played, like Yasser Rabi has played some really good innings as for us, um, but we need to find somebody that can bowl 10 to 15 overs, whether that's Mominal, I'm not sure he's confident enough to bowl 10, 15 overs, Shanto's bowling's not quite there to bowl 6, 7 overs a day, so we need to try and like I've said for the last two years, and all teams are looking for that number six, number seven, that can bat in the top six and bowl 10, 15 overs a game. Um, and the teams that have got that guy are the well-balanced teams that can that can bowl teams out consistently, and we're still trying to find that person when Shakib's not there. When Shakib's there, easy, but he's, oh, he hasn't been there much. He's definitely in consideration to play because he does offer something with the ball, so he, he, he is definitely being considered to play, if Shakib's not there. Thank you. Thank you, guys.